Hi, I'm Kelly from Kelly Jones Jewellery. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this pendant. It's a little tree of life for you. I'll put a list in the description below of everything you'll need, along with links to my Etsy shop, which is kellyjonesjewellery.com, my Facebook page, my Instagram, and I'll put um, Grace's Instagram on there as well, because I've done a page for Gracie now, my, my little pug. You probably hear her snoring in the background. To make this pendant, you'll need 1.5 millimeter wire, that's 14 gauge. And I've got one length at seven inches, that's 18 centimeters. You'll need weaving wire, 0.315 millimeter, that's 28 gauge. And I've got 20 lengths at seven inches each, that's 18 centimeters. I've got an oval cab oval cabochon mine's 25 by 30 millimeters you can use a larger stone or a smaller stone if you like just adjust your wire lengths a little and you'll need a 10 millimeter outside measurement jump ring tools we don't need many tools today because we're using the thicker wire i'm going to be using my old cutters so we don't spoil my good ones so you need wire cutters and i've got bale pliers to use as round nose to curl the wires because these are tougher and I don't want to spoil my round nose pliers. So that's what I'm using today. So to start with, take your thick wire, find the centre point, and we're going to bend it around the stone. So putting the stone against the middle point of the wire, just start to bend the wire around the stone. And we want this wire to sit to the back of the stone, so as soon as you've got the initial shape, you can bend it yourself. So you want your wire to sit at the back of your stone, but you want it to be roughly the shape of the stone as well. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. That's the kind of size I'm looking for. So it just sits inside of the back of the stone there. And then when where the wires cross over at the top here, we're going to bend them out. I'll measure this so I can show you properly the how far I'm gonna cut. I think I'll have about two and a half on this side. And I'll have about one and a half on this side. If you've seen my other tutorials, I do this design quite a lot at the top. I do like how it looks. So I'm wrapping this around now. I'm, I'm curling my wire using my bail pliers. I'm using the smallest size. This wire is quite a wrestle too. 
to curl. So you want a big curl on the one side and a little curl on the other. If you want to make a fuss, you could file these ends a bit flatter. I'm just being a bit lazy to do a quick video. So that one, I'll go like that. So I've got a high loop and a low loop. And then this will go on the front, like that. So putting that to one side, we'll now look at these wires. You'll try and get them all the same length. So I'm holding them all together and I'm going to start in the middle. I'm going to try something a bit different this time. So we're going to take all the wires, give them a twist. Just a tough, a tough twist. And then I'm going to separate them into halves. I'm going to twist the halves separately. <clears throat> and then I'm going to twist that around. that I'm gonna make the tree a little bit bendy in the middle there and the bottom I'm gonna separate that into two as well and I'm gonna twist that and this is going to take some fiddling and playing with. So I'm just going to have a, a twist and a play with this. And I will put it in fast forward so you can see what I'm doing. Because it really is up to you how you shape your tree. So I'm going to have a play with this and I'll show you how I do it.
So I've done lots of twizzling. My tree's almost finished. But it's starting to take shape. Part way through I realised it was too tall for the stone. So I had to squash it down a little bit. But you really do have to just keep shaping and reshaping. And then I undid a bit at the end because my branches were too long for the size of the stone. So keep having a look at it against your stone to see how it's going to sit or how you want it to be. So when you are happy with your tree, with all the twists, because we've still got a lot of work to do on it, but when you're happy with your branches and your twists, position it how you want it to sit. I'm going to have mine off to the side on this one. And hold it in place. And I want my roots quite low. So I've got more room for playing with the branches at the top. And then when you've got it where you want it, bend all these wires over. And we'll work on the bottom first. So that's how I want the bottom part to sit, maybe over that way a little bit. So they cup the side. So make sure your stone is the right way up. That you want how you want it to be. And make sure your back piece is the right way round to how you want it to be. We're going to hold it all together the best we can in place. And some people, when you're doing things like this, they like to put a bit of tape across the front. I don't because I'm awkward. So if you want to use tape, go ahead. We're going to start right at the bottom here. So take your lowest branch, your lowest roots. We're going to wrap them around. I'm wrapping the whole clump around. And again, this is going to be time consuming. you've got your roots attached it kind of gives it a little bit of a cup to sit in so it's not so hard to hold still hard to hold though and I need to cut all these wires off now and we'll cut them off as close to the frame as possible I've wrapped around about three times probably a few more on each one Might need to get the good cutters out to cut these. Get some nice close cuts. So I'll cut all those off. And then we'll look at attaching all the lower branches. So I've used my good cutters to cut all the ends nice and flush. And I've used my pliers to then squeeze all the ends flat around that frame. So I'll add those tools on at the beginning. So now what we'll do next is work on the lower branches and attach those to the, the frame. So I've separated out all my branches to get them all nice. 
because we're going to wrap single branches around now um, so you want to make sure they're all tidy and separated and then are all tangled together and then holding it in place the best you can unless you've been wise and stuck a bit of tape on and start with the bottom branch and we're just going to loop it around the frame and attach it in and it's quite a slow time consuming thing so I'll do that in fast forward as well but all you're doing is taking each branch and wrapping it round the back a good three times each connected them all at the back and I need to join this together here so I've got two wires left so I'm going to take that one over there and this one I'm going to bring around and I'm just going to tie the two parts of the frame together and I'll finish with three wraps on this side so it's starting to take shape now so my next task is to cut off all these ends and you need to pull them nice and tight and then cut them as close to the frame as you can and then squeeze them all in so you don't have any sharp edges on the back. So I've got my tree attached. I can't emphasise enough how important it is to really cut these ends back really nice and short and then flatten them all down. So we've done the majority of it now. So now take your pliers and we're going to shape all of the branches. So go over all the main shape. And then just have a little think and apply of how you want it to work. And take each branch one at a time. 
and have a little play around with it and bend and shape each branch in the root and just take your time because this is this is the most important part all of that was just getting all the basic structure in in place this is the most important part now is how you shape your tree with your pliers shape squeeze it all nice against the stone so you're squeezing it all together and if you do decide to oxidize your piece it really brings out all the detail of the branches So I'm going to add my jump ring once I've found it and then I'll oxidise it and I'll show you what it's like. So I just thought I'd show you because I've just oxidised it. So I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow and please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.